The tents are going to be used um, as outdoor spaces since the classrooms are so limited in size of capacity. Um, so these will be a, another place for the students to be able to have class. They're open air tents um, so we can maintain circulation. They're going to be maintained by the tent company as well as FOD. There's been a lot of collaboration between FOD, um, so landscape guys have been helping me with the grass. Um, We've been working with Student Life to make sure that um, student groups are able to use some of the tents for after hours uses. When we looked at uh, returning the students returning to campus and the opportunities that we wanted to provide them, uh, we thought that the tents would be uh, an excellent opportunity to give them a little more physical structure for them to uh, dance, act, uh, share their arts uh, with the students in the community. And it also provided us the opportunity to increase the level of safety uh, with the ventilation and the uh, extra square footage that the tents provide. There are six tents. Um, we have one at the South Oval, one at Browning Amphitheater, one at West Stillman Hall, one at Cotman Hall, one at Waterman Headquarters, and one at the Olin Tangy Wetlands. Um, the three for Arts and Sciences are primary for classes, um, and the three for CFAES are primary staging tents. Um, so the students can stay in them between um, going to different classes. Um, they're not really like places to hang out, they're more of a transportation spot. In general, they'll all be used to support class labs. Uh, class labs outside the four walls of a classroom are important in our college. Uh, the way that they'll get used is for staging. The students will show up there, sometimes they take a quiz before and after or maybe show some visual things and then go out in the field and do their work. Um, the, the tents will be a great place to get out of the weather to do that if needed. The tents are an example of the collaboration that's been happening throughout the summer um, with FOD, planning and real estate, um, construction and design, um, all of the colleges and particularly with the faculty and staff that have worked throughout the summer to come up with creative solutions and to find new collaborations to find ways to have our students return to campus safely.